so one thing is clear from this first three step that if i have a feeling which is natural it leads to harmony and happiness if i have a feeling which is not natural it leads to disharmony and unhappiness therefore my happiness or unhappiness has to do with my feeling has to do with my desire has to do with my thought right so depending upon my desire depending upon my thought depending upon my feeling which is equivalent to the desire i am in a state of harmony and happiness or this harmony and unhappiness so my feeling my desire is the source of my happiness or unhappiness right this i am able to observe through step 1 2 and 3 now a natural catch question that comes is that if my feeling is deciding my happiness or unhappiness then who is taking decision for this feeling for this desire for this thought that is taking place in me so now i am clear that yes there is some desire some feeling at the base and this is leading to some thought which is going on in me right in terms of the imagination and this is leading to my state of happiness or unhappiness now the question is that who is taking decision for this feeling this thought that i have at this moment the desire that i have at this moment who is taking the decision so the question in step 4 is right who decides the feeling the thought that i have at this moment is it some external conditions external physical condition is it some other human being or is it myself i myself so very important question to ask so if i have a feeling of opposition at this moment and i am thinking of taking revenge right who decided this feeling who is deciding this thought every moment is it decided by the physical conditions outside is it decided by some other human being or is it decided by me myself ultimately so this question i have to ask from now onward till tomorrow morning every imagination that is going on in me and which i am able to observe right i have to see what is the feeling at the base of it what is the desire at the base of it what kind of thought is going you know moment by moment and then ask myself who is deciding for this desire to go on this feeling to go on this thought to go, to go on is it decided by the external conditions is it decided by somebody else some other human being or is it decided by me myself ultimately so this is what we have to work with now onward till tomorrow morning right i can certainly you know give the answer just to facilitate the answer is very simple that the external world or the other human being can just be a trigger in the process but ultimately it is me who is deciding what feeling to have what thought to have right whether i am aware of it or i am not aware of it i am the one who is taking the ultimate decision and now when you start observing you will be able to see this and if you are able to see this a very important conclusion is that ultimately i am responsible for the feeling for the desire for the thought that i have at this moment and therefore this is the one which is leading to happiness or unhappiness so i am also responsible for my happiness or unhappiness which i have at this moment but don't take this you know as final answer right you have to work with yourself you have to observe your imagination you have to observe your feeling thought right? and then you have to see who is taking the decision is it taken 
by the external condition is it taken by the other human being or ultimately it is taken by me myself even though i may not be aware of it to take an example we are saying this in you know, that <coughs> i am thinking of taking revenge right so there is this feeling of opposition right and then there is this thought of how to take re take revenge and this is going on now is it going on by my consent or it is just because somebody else misbehaved with me so if you look at this misbehavior what would have happened you know he must have said some bad word right some abuse now the sound of that abuse falls in my ear right for few seconds now whether to pay attention to that voice that sound or not to pay attention is my decision after having paid the you know attention and heard that voice right that those words the sounds it is me who is giving interpretation to these words right that it is an abuse then after having you know given this interpretation that it is an abuse right it is me who is deciding my feeling for him right if i think that this man is in trouble and therefore is using these bad words i will have a one kind of feeling if i think that this man is intentionally trying to insult me then i will have a different kind of feeling right similarly if it is a small child who does not know the language and he is just learning the language and he has heard this word from somewhere and he is using it then you can see that this man is just practicing no he does not want to harm me or to insult me so i will not generate a feeling of opposition for him for the child right so other on the other side way if there is somebody with whom i already have a fight you know and some feel opposition if he uses the bad word it is very hurting because i have given this interpretation that this man is trying to insult me by intention and therefore i have a feeling of opposition for him in the case of the child right i may have the feeling of you know kind of kindness okay i may think in terms of how to help him out to come out of this state of problem that he is in so to have this feeling of pity feeling of kindness or to have this feeling of opposition of taking revenge depends upon ultimately myself i am taking the decision the situation outside is just triggering my process of imagination my feeling my thought but ultimately it is me who is taking the decision so just to exemplify i have given this you know uh, case study but you start working on yourself see your imagination every moment see what is the feeling and then ask yourself this feeling this thought that you have at this moment is it is it ultimately decided by the conditions outside by the other human being or by you yourself so do that work on it very important step to work on very important conclusions will come out of this very important conclusion i will be able to see that ultimately i am responsible for the desire that i have the feeling that i have the thought that i have and this feeling is causing me happiness or unhappiness therefore ultimately i am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness and this comes 100% that 100% i am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness is regard of what is the external condition is regard of what is the behavior of the other human being so good we'll work with this step four till tomorrow morning right unless there is very pertinent question or you know uh, 
doubt regarding this step four, we can stop.